hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking but if you are new here hi my name is lillian and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification put it on the last one that says all so that anytime i upload a video go live do something on here you would get notification please do it to like this video as we go straight into it so there is a video of two young people i don't know if i should call them teenagers because in my own understanding of a teenager i think being a teenager starts from the age of 14. i mean when you are 14 years that is when you are considered a teenager correct me down there at the comment section if i am wrong about this so but these kids in this video that i want to play are way younger than that by men looking at them and you could guess they are very young and already they are speaking like this and saying so many things and the reason i want this video to be out is because i want to call on the Ghanaian and the nigerian governments to come together and sanitize the future this is not one of those regular youtube videos where you are offended and forgot the main topic of the video this is a cry for help to save the future these kids are saying things that a lot of people are being like they are just being kids when you see them talking you think they are just being kids but i live in ghana and i know what my eyes been seeing i know what it is like every day you will see different things happening among the nigerian community in ghana and it is me i'm no longer bothered about the bad image you know i am bothered about the situation because nothing is done to save it so now take a look at these young people as i will be back again to continue i go go gonna go learn my own yawa i can't get boys to i go teach some yawa you know say now now oh you know so you know i know say dollar don't i now go there say dollar now eh all on that ten dollar now ten dollar you know how much you go collect for nigeria now you know say one thousand era you don't bless well ten dollar now you go collect five k twenty dollar now you go see say you what you know about dollar in your age dollar dollar now you know say dollar now big money if we talk about dollar, we don't talk about naira. Eh, what if naira? Ah, if you get dollar, don't blow. Don't blow. You where you don't blow the go? You don't blow my comfort. That's my comfort from Nigeria. Yeah, go build us. I'll carry my parents. Say go, go build us. Now, if you can't make money, you now. Which kind of money you want to make? What you want to use the money for? If you get money right now, what you want to can do? You in your age. Me, I go use and take build us for my family. Take do something for my enhance some business. Start some business. Now, how you come manage get that yawa idea in your age? You know, say all those my friends then. Uh -huh. All yeah. of them they do. I will so I can't so stay. Now my friends they do. I know they stay out. So leave me like this. No say as work no day. Work no day. But now, ah, what the Nigerian like like this? So these are young Nigerian kids from a state in Nigeria, and already they had plans to come to Ghana to join cyber crime. Already think of a lot of things in their heads, and obviously in the video, one of the guys could be heard saying that. He has friends who are also living in Ghana and doing the job that he intends to come and do. He wants to be trained to become a cyber criminal and he is talking about Ghana. And when you look at the video, you'll be like, mm, mm, he's just saying it. But I am sitting here and beating my chest to tell you that he's not just saying it. I have seen people. The only thing I have not seen is a guy as young as that. I have seen young guys that are slightly older than the ones in this video here in Ghana. And I have seen the female ones like exactly the age of this ones in this video at Medina, somewhere in Medina. Was it in 2021? Saw young girls, about four of them moving. They were Justin and, and obviously they were Nigerians. Of course, how did I know? In our own pidgin English. And I didn't know what to do. I had my little girl on my back and I knew I was gonna, not just gonna let them pass. Call them to wait. And then and I now start asking them, they say they are Nigerians, and they, they are here in Medina. And I was like, here in Medina with your family. So they said they are with their auntie. 
So what does your auntie do for a living? They say their auntie brought them here and kept them somewhere. So they are supposed to pay the auntie. The other one was like, she's almost done paying. And these are young girls, very young. The whole day I was disturbed. Like, really? So when you see this video, you would think it's one of those social media videos you could see and ignore. I urge you not to ignore. Let's come together and call on the Nigerian government and the Ghanaian government, precisely the immigration body of the government of both countries. The immigration of the both countries needs to come together. Recently, there was a video or videos of young Nigerians calling on their Ghanaian neighbor for help. So the woman was smart enough to have alerted her husband to please see to what she's seeing through the window. As I'm speaking to you, I'm feeling cold about this. Like, you know why I'm saying that? Because see, when it comes to minding a business, your Ghanaian neighbor has a degree in it. They can mind their business to the core. But how this woman was able to understood and attend to the young guy calling on her through the window, someone she does not have previous conversations with, is still a miracle up to date. She came out to do something and I think she said she came out to pack her clothes. On the rope and then from the other compound she saw someone waving at her and giving her all the signs to please do something help help me help me help me it was giving the signal and she looked away and then looked back again quickly she stopped what she was doing walked inside called on her husband who quickly got dressed and went to the police station to lay a report and then the police followed him immediately and then they came and broke the house and rescued this young minority boys underage boys that were brought to ghana with the hope of a better life because they were told they are going to be trained because ghana is really the heart of yawiyo -yaw right now you do here you stay you stay here nobody bothers you and you can actually you know make it big here once you undergo once you undergo the training you become the boss and even have your own boys so they tell them all of these things so and these are things that are happening so i don't know if someone is going to pretend they are not aware these things are happening so but these guys have been locked in that house with no food for quite a while and they were really minority and they were dying and they were constantly being physically abused by their masters so the ghanaian woman signaled the husband and the the police rescued those ones we bless god for that even though some Nigerians still find it to be a, uh, what is that? Is it the only people that are doing Yahoo? Don't you know that Ghanaians still are doing Yahoo? For me, in this video, I'm not talking about Yahoo Yahoo because that is a personal choice. But I'm talking about the people involved in this trade. They are young people. I mean, what does a 13 years old knows about these things and this reminds me of the liberian child soldier and i got to know about child soldier when i watched the movie titled blood diamond that was filmed in liberia which is like a real life retelling of a real life events and i could see you know the whole night I had it rough at night because <laughs> you will not understand the danger of child soldier right because see, when a kid's mind is being trained, they act without thinking because they are kids. They just act without thinking. Even you that trains them, they may decide to want to exercise the power. They want to go hunger. I mean, they want to go more for it. They become hungry to try more and they do not have control because they are kids. So these kids in this video are just like child soldier. So now... I want to call on the Ghana Immigration Service especially. Majority of these kids do come to, Ghana, come to Ghana through the landing borders and not through the hair borders because their masters do not invest so much money of giving them the luxury 
to fly to Ghana. They send them via the road to come to Ghana. Please, sirs, I am begging you guys in the name of God the Father to save our future. If the government of Nigeria is trying their best and not succeeding because there are so many roads out of Nigeria and sometimes the immigration service run out of control because they do not know which roads you follow and how you smuggle someone out of the country. Can we please put an eye. These young underage children should be held back at the borders and make sure that you do not take any bribe from their masters. You trying your best to want to know what they are going to Ghana to do is not enough. But actually making sure that you get to the root of it is everything. When you do this, you're not only doing your job as an immigration officer, but you are saving the future of these children. And that is you protecting the future of your own children. But what is this? Nigerians are known to be hardworking people, but what is happening? What is going on? Who is responsible? Who is supposed to save these children? Who? Is it their parents, the government, or what? I mean, like a child like that is already talking about buying a house. Now it is so dangerous and I'm afraid looking at these kids speaking highly of money and feeling like they are responsible. I mean, they are not... I mean, they are supposed to be kids. I mean, the kids are no longer kids. They are supposed to be kids. It is not their business to bring, to provide for the family. So what is responsible for this? Is it lack of parental discipline on those kids? Or what is this? Or is it the social media influence? Or what is this? Do you think the government have a role to play in this? Because, see, I know the Nigerian government is not the best and all the public sectors in Nigeria are not the best. But you see, when it comes to underage child living the country, they usually act. They used to try their best to so get it. I have seen them seize two girls when I was coming to Ghana that day with my Antonia. When I went to pick Antonia from Nigeria and they were all stopped because the other kids were as young as antonia so the person that brought them the person that invited them to come tricked them to leave nigeria and come and meet him or her in ghana already made something like gary and gave to them and told them to tell the police that they are taking it to school to tell the immigration at the nigerian border that they are taking these things to school in ghana so the immigration officers refused that they are not going anywhere because they, further into the interrogation they realize that these kids were lying they don't even know where they are going they are just acting on the order of whoever is recruiting and trying to smuggle them out of the country and immediately they were seized they were held back and our vehicle left me with my niece antonia i was able to pass with antonia to ghana because i gave them a lot of evidence and they asked her they went through her certificate they went through her books there were so many things that were that were done a lot of screening was done including calling my mom in the village to confirm that they are aware that Antonia is with me and that I am an auntie, including me going back to my phone to show them pictures of Antonia and my kids together and our lives back in Nigeria. Because when I was moving my younger kids to Ghana, Antonia was writing her GS3 exam, so I have to leave her behind. So it was after the exam, I went back to Nigeria to personally bring her. So the Nigerian Immigration Service sometimes tries their best, I will not lie especially when it comes to taking underage person out of the country. But sometimes these guys are smarter than the immigration officers because they know where to go, how to maneuver their way and get into the Benin or Togo without proper check done on them, on these kids. So the Ghana Immigration Service should police. Do not feel guilty when you are acting I know they will try to blackmail you by telling you you hate Nigerians. You don't want Nigerians to come to your country. But in reality, you do not hate Nigerians. You do not stop Nigerians from coming. But all you are trying to do is stop these underage babies, underage children from coming into the country without proper 
investigation without proper proof sees them at the border and save the future this is a young boy he has no idea how to make money but he just want to make money and it means that he can kill if he's ordered to kill someone to make the money because he is a baby i mean he's still thinking when you give order to your kids to do something they do it when i tell my children do this they will do it so when a child escapes the right hand and goes into the wrong hand and that wrong hand orders them influence them they are going to do it and imagine a child like that growing up to to become an adult i mean fine maybe when the child becomes an adult they will have a change of mind but wait where are the morals that will help guide them as adults Ghanaian immigration service please do something do something now i know they are going to blackmail you hey you don't like nigerians you hate nigerians no that is not it because whatever affects nigeria today will certainly affect other people because today i promise you sars they can if nigerians wake up today and they can no longer breathe in nigeria if there's a poisonous hair on hair that kills nigerians they are going to run to ghana they are definitely going to run to ghana because of course why not of course why not change does not come easy it does not come easy if you sacrifice the name calling today you're going to, it's going to go a long way to save the future this is where we are having issues it's not even the passport some of the people that comes into the country with passport is not a guarantee that they are coming here for a legitimate thing i think the border should be tightened some more the, the togolese border and the Ghanaian borders are quite tight but you can tighten it some more especially when it comes to young underage children at the ghana border you are made to personally on unpack all your items let them go through it one after the other before you are allowed to take it back into the vehicle that drives it into the country they are doing amazing i won't lie but sometimes there are things that you are ignoring that are not supposed to be and you are not doing this because you can't do it you are doing this because you don't want problem you don't want these um, people coming coming online to say oh or people generally complaining that Ghana nigerians are not allowed into ghana if we look away we are doing ourselves your child that you are spending so much money on making all the sacrifice for is going to be together with this group of kids in future when you and i are no longer there so what is that a child who is not going to school is not learning anything what is happening there used to be this culture of learning a trade you are being assigned to someone who is who has been into a business or a trade or a certain uh, craft for a long time so you'll be signed on to that person to work learn the whole thing for the person and after learning you are supposed to stay back there and work for the person that becomes like you being employed under the person when you are done the amount of years you settled for that person will settle you to start your own business now, I do not know if this culture still exists. This was widely practiced by the Igbo people and some people from my part of Nigeria. But right now, I don't know if this is still going on. Is it the hardship in the society that is pushing people to grow up so quickly? It's, it's dangerous. Now, I feel like the government should play a role. The, the government should come in because some parents, due to poverty, are still they don't understand what you are talking about i personally have sat a nigerian mother down whose son is into some illegal online practices and i told her this is what your son does it was not an easy decision for me to do that but i felt like if i don't because i thought maybe this person is born again because they are very involved in their church and all that the parents of this young man are very very much involved in their church and i felt like maybe so i thought that by the time they know the source of their son's income they are going to try to talk to him or reject gifts from him 
but I'm surprised that <laughs> they still accept gift from him. Even with the fact that they know that this child is into some illegal practices. So now, I think this is where the government should come in. I will not lie in Nigeria. The EFCC and the SARS and all that are doing their best. But why are they coming to Ghana? Why? I am calling on the both government to save the future. Of course, their masters are going to come as usual. Niger Ghanaians do not like Nigerians. And they rub it on every Nigerian, making it look like they are talking about the whole country, the whole nation, like all Nigerians. When you and I know the truth, the particular, the types of, the, the class of Nigerians they are talking about. So please take charge of the borders today and save the future. Some of these kids, their parents will pretend they do not know what they are into. I remember last week, can I yo or can I yo? Let me see if I can find that video. I'll play it here for you guys to see. He was advising parents and he was telling them if you're accepting gifts from your kids without knowing their source of income, you are not going to live long. And he is right. He is right. Some parents are fully aware of their kids' practices. But because of how difficult things are, parents will still accept the gift. They will still encourage it. Because I strongly believe that some of these guys, if you make them feel lonely, feel empty, they may want to have a change of mind. Kids that are supposed to be in school, some of them in Ghana here are minority. When you look at them, you'll be like, waiting be this. Because they are not eating well. They are not eating well. When they continue to bring these people into the country without feeding them, one day they will lose out of the house and go into the streets and become arm robbers. Who is affected? Ghanaians. Please, save the borders today. This video should not be taken. This video should not be taken as one of those YouTube videos. I am calling on the government of Nigeria and the government of Ghana to collaborate on this. Go back to your drawing board and see how you can help. We don't have to always sit down here and be blaming our government. I was fully aware of the Obasanjo regime, right? Obasanjo came into power. I was already aware of life. He came, he ruled, Nigerians were complaining. Bad leadership. Oba Sanjo, who cannot, anyone that cannot impregnate their wives, they will say it's Oba Sanjo, bad leadership, zero. The one that go and steal. Oba Sanjo, hey, bad government. Oh. Yaradua came into power. Hey, Yaradua, oh, that one didn't rule for long and he passed on to glory. May his soul rest in peace, Mr. President. He, he left the nicest of them all, Jonathan. Softest, nicest, humble, simple man came into power and opened his hand like this for Nigerians to feed from. Mm -hmm. We didn't like him. Yeah, people were still complaining. Hey, hey Jonathan has cost everything. Oh, hey, dollar is now 250. Oh, dollar is now 300. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bad government, bad government. People are depressed, people are dying, people are this. I'm robber, will rob. They will say it's bad government. A rapist will rape a minor. They will say it's bad government. Somebody will beat his wife to death. They will say it's bad government. You do this one, bad government. Kidnapping came, bad government. Yaradua, what was his name? Jonathan left office. Buhari came. I personally was hoping that with Buhari being a retired soldier, as a retired soldier is coming with that. For where Buhari came, things were going out of hand. Hey, bad government, oh, Buhari, oh, Buhari, oh. Buhari come out, Tinumbu come. Hey, Tinumbu, oh. If Tinubu leaves, <laughs> P2B comes, you will know that P2B that we all we are all craving for if we as Nigerians don't sit up and do our part. His regime is still going to be complained. We are still going to be crying blood and be wishing, hey, hey bad government, Obi, Obi has finished, he also Obi oh. When Obi come out, it simply means that even if Jesus Christ takes the throne of Asso Rock and become the president. 
it's still not going to change anything. If we, me, you, do not do our part as Nigerians, we are going to unlearn in here. I think law, or to the law. For now, when we say the only time we are patriotic Nigerians is when you come to the comment section of people and be dragging other nations. You online, you love Nigeria so much, and you you want the world to believe that. But in reality, you do not love your country because if you love your country, what business do you have recruiting a young girl into other countries for prostitution? Choose your battles wisely. If you want to do online dragging, it's fine. But do not see this and support it. It simply means you are up to, you know, you are encouraging it. And it's not going to change anything. They are still going to ban you. The next country you apply for, they will reject you. Just a few Nigerians are making it. So where is this dignity in labor? Because growing up, I was told dignity in labor. And to think that I still have the mindset to say, okay, if today I'm no longer able in the city, I will go home and become a farmer. That is it. That is a mindset for me, in case you don't know. Mm, that is a mindset. I cannot say I must die. I must try to make it at all. I must make it. I believe I may make it. I believe I will make it and I should is my prayers. But if I don't, the land is there for me to go back to and farm. I am done with this video, guys. I will see you guys in another one. Tighten the border now and save the future. Thank you for watching this one. I will see you in another one. Bye.